Hey everyone, FPS Chasley here. Welcome to the final mission ever of Dangerous Waters Redstorm Rising. Yep, that's exactly how I feel right now. Okay, so we got a layer at 550 feet. Got a good chunk beneath the keel here. We can get to basically our maximum operating death. Death. Operating depth. Alright, so our mission here is we have to stay north of Op Area Smith. We're to clear any submarine threats out of this area. <clears throat> so, let's get to it. So, all we're really dealing with is sub threats in this mission. We can't deal with any other threats, unlike in other missions potentially, so... Uh, if the landing doesn't work, I'm probably not going to redo the mission because it's out of my control. There's nothing I can do about any of that stuff. <laughs> Unless, because, you know, I know those things are coming, I could potentially launch some, like, preemptive TASMs, but no, I'm not going to do anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and just, just deal with the subs out here. So let's see what we got. This thing's probably going to be beneath a layer, so I'm just going to bring some of this in. Slow down to three knots already. Try to be uber silent, so let's just, uh, yeah, do some of that. Good. That's brought in a good chunk there. Sea's pretty calm. We don't have to get too terribly deep. This should be fine to be away from the surface clutter right here. And, uh, not seeing anything yet, but we can go over and check out the narrowband. Haven't played as an LA in a while. Good to be back. Here we go. Getting some stuff. Fishing boat. Yeah, first frequency is at 50. This is a potential Ruski submarine. But we have Brits in the area, and they their first frequency starts with 50 as well, so not too positive on who that actually is. Our course is due north, so we're going to have our reciprocal right about here. And, uh, ooh, looks like we got some other stuff here. This is a... Uh, and maybe not necessarily Los Angeles, but that's definitely American. Might as well mark him. Because these are the only four contacts we hold out here right now. Well, who's that? It's still the same. It's a 60 frequency thing, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So we got these two guys right here. One of these is probably a parry. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a turn, and let's see what happens. I'm going to turn to this direction here. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I guess I can just turn like somewhere like this direction here for the time being. We don't need to do such a drastic turn. 30 degrees should be good enough here. So let's just go ahead and speed up time and expedite this turn here. So yeah, there was a, there were two other frequencies I saw on the narrowband there, but they both started with 60, so those are not Russian submarines. Let me go ahead and grab my frequency sheet here. Uh, where is my frequency sheet? That is a good question. Hang on, let me find this thing. Oh, well, shit. Who's uh, moving around here? Who's moving? Yeah, definitely these two. Okay, so we got our true ones here. All right, let me, uh, let me find this frequency sheet here. Alright, I got it. It was just underneath some crap. So yeah, nothing besides American ships start with 60 as the first frequency. Which is uh, kind of nice. You know, except for some torpedoes, but they're all American torpedoes. Yep. Nothing enemy starts with a frequency of 60. At least what you would consider an enemy. I don't think I ever going to really run into an enemy Aussie or Taiwanese enemy here, but who knows. Alright, so we got those two guys figured out. Let's look at this guy. This guy's, well, there's no history to show him that. We gotta do TMA. So yeah, he's been moving a decent chunk. We could be somewhat close to him. Or he could just be juicing it like crazy. So where is he? Right here. Is there another frequency underneath of that? It looks like there kinda is. I didn't want 50, I wanted 100. I'm kinda tired and I just drank some caffeine, so it's kinda hard for me to focus. But no, there's no frequency underneath that. There's only one frequency here. 500 is good enough. So whoever this guy is, he's making a good chunk of noise. Oh, and we can pick him up on the broadband ever so slightly. No, we can't. Never mind. Damn. Well, that kind of sucks. All right. So I guess we can just try and head this way a little bit. Uh, we may eventually have to like try and get beneath a layer or something, see if anyone's down there, and uh, see if we need to actually be juicing it up to try and get closer to someone. But it's always kind of risky. You don't know if someone's going to be down there or not. But if they're out of shooting range, I guess it doesn't really matter too much unless they have, like, torpedo rockets. 
So this is our real guy down here, wasn't it? Yeah, we only have two lines on them. So yeah, it's a 6120, so that could be a whole host of anything. 6125, excuse me. It could be an LA, Seawolf, Ohio. Or uh, going straight up to the other the surface ships. Other than that, just a parry, I think. Or some other kinds of random ships. It could be a Ticon. No, not a Ticonderoga. It could be a random surface ship. Oliver Hazard, Perry, Knox, Lafayette, Avenger, Victorious. It's probably a surface ship. I don't know if I'm, I didn't see anything about other LAs in the area. But yeah, we're still playing as a Springfield. Same old LA we've been playing as this whole time. So that's pretty good. Oh, what have we here? Still, yeah, nothing on the broadband to see yet. It's kind of disheartening. We don't have anything on the tow broadband. We're not sure, so I'm not going to have anything on the, the spherical broadband. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty strong signal. I'm surprised I can't see him on the broadband there. It's a pretty strong signal. Anything on the long time interval? No, nothing still. Okay, so let's just uh, keep speeding up time then. I don't want to really lose that track by going beneath. Well, you don't lose the track if you go beneath the layer. You, you lose the track if you bring the toad in. So let's go check out beneath the layer, shall we? Let's go deep here. I guess 600 is good enough. Make my depth six. Let's see if anyone's hanging up beneath the layer there for a sec. We can go ahead and do that. CR2. Yeah, he's kind of doing a... Uh, looks like he changed speed or course in here at some point. Right around here. It's kind of looking like that. All right, we're beneath the layer here. Don't know if the toad is yet. I guess one way to find out, yeah, there's no one else on here anymore. So, yeah, not seeing anyone down here right now. So that's good. We could potentially speed up here to try and get closer to someone, but if we don't have to, we don't need to. It's kind of like a silly risk that I don't really want to take right now. Let's Make head back up a little shallow and let's try and stay a little deeper in case there was a little bit of surface clutter, but I don't think there was. The sea's pretty calm. <coughs> but you never know. Holy hell. One, two, two. Okay, one, two, two. That could be, uh, holy crap. Whoa. They collided. How the hell did that happen? What the fuck? How did that Harper's Ferry get turned around, man? <laughs> uh, okay. That is, uh, but one, two, two. It's probably that one Seahawk just dropping torps on that kilo. Let's draw a range circle and check out that bearing one, two, two. Yeah, it's probably that Seahawk dropping torps on that kilo, but what the hell? These guys crashed into each other, man. They killed each other. Well, that's not going to bide well for the landing force. Now there's only one wasp that the backfires have to take out. But how the hell do they do that? I don't know. I guess they were trying to station keep or something. All right, we could uh, potentially get the floating wire out here. Let's slow down even further. Have I reacquired our buddies yet? No, Toad's still beneath the layer here. That's fine. No rush. No rush at all. No, I don't want to do that. I want it to stream the floating wire. Very well. Let's speed up time here until we get that floating wire up there. We can start getting some link data and see what's... Holy crap. What the hell just happened? Oh, these things are spamming out like crazy, man. Shit. <laughs> Is that going to make my time warp laggy, man? That's really annoying. It was going to make my time warp laggy. Maybe I can turn it to... Let's turn off show dead platforms for the time being here. Uh, where's show dead platforms? Okay, let me go to the options and change that right quick. All right, that's gone. So maybe now I can actually like speed up time and not. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we got all the link. Still showing those guys. I don't know what happened with this. Why, why are they all turned around? They all turned around. Here are all the planes. Where's the parry? I'm not even seeing the parry up here. Well, there it is. And yeah, why are they all turning around? What the hell's going on? Don't even know, man. Don't even know. Some jump jets over there. The British fleet down there. Okay, no link data on our little compadres up this way. Have I gotten the toad up in, uh, above the layer yet? No. I haven't. Alright, well, we got a little bit of link data. I might go ahead and reel that back in then. We don't really need that up. Let's go for three knots here. 
Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering. I was just trying to speed up time until that toad comes back up here already. Oh, Mr. Todd. There you go. We're back. Ooh. He moved a little bit. He made some distance. He's either close or he's hauling ass. Can I see him on the broadband yet? I think I can. Yes, we can see him on the broadband. Okay, so if he's rushing... Oh, it's either going to be a 7 or a 10 TPK. It's probably that Akula I've been seeing before, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for the 7 TPK. Yeah. It could be diesel, though. That's not a ridiculous speed. It's pretty close to flank for a diesel. I don't know why diesel will be just wheeling around like that for no reason. It's just wasting a lot of charge. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to go with the 7 TPK for now. Because 18 is pretty much flank for a diesel. He's going to run out of battery in like 30 minutes. He stays like that. So let's go ahead and call it 26 knots for Mr. Sierra 2 here. 26 knots. Increase speed to 26 knots and recompute. Alright, we have to wait for some, uh, oh yeah, hold that. Let's actually look at some old data here and see if we can, uh, catch anything else. Well, that old data is really old. Don't know if that's applicable anymore. Let's just wait for this to, uh, just have to wait to get some more data on it. I have to look at the broadband trends. I can barely even see them on there. Is that him? Does it look like the water got a little saturated or something? It's weird. Not sure if your signal strength is increasing or decreasing here. Looks like it's increasing. This was like a little dimmer just a second ago. He might be getting closer to me, but I don't really see him on the broadband, though. That's the thing. Oh, now I do, I think. Maybe. What bearing you got him on? 104. That might have been like a little blip on 104, but I'm not really seeing him on the broadband. Oh, we got a Viking heading this way. Is that a new development? Or is that an old link contact? That's a few minutes old, but it looks like they got a whiff of him or something. He's heading up this way. With a pretty good, uh, pretty non-coincidental course heading towards that Akula uh, or whatever it is, potential Russian nuclear submarine here. All right, let me slow back down to two knots and get this uh, floating wire back up here. <clears throat> you can see if this guy's uh, seen anything on him yet. Oh yeah, this guy down here. What was they calling that? Oh, am I really picking up that parry from this far away? Wow, that's crazy. But I'm not picking up anyone else. It's interesting. Maybe there's like a hard limit for the detection range on the toad that he's just inside the bubble for. Okay, what's that? Looks like they got someone on the link here. Not really matching up with my data. But that's fine. Where's my data put him? Yeah, 105. They got him on closer to 096 or something there. Alright, so I haven't changed. Okay, well, I, I did change speed, and that can put a little skew in your toe data as well. So uh, it looks like he might have changed course or something at some point. He might be turning around, doing a little patrol box or something like that. But uh, I think I might leave the floating wire out here for the time being. Don't really need all that slack up, but it's fine. I think if I go to three knots, I won't be able to support that. Oh, God, I can't believe that, man. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous that this guy's on the bottom right now. Yeah, it's still a dead platform on the bottom there. <laughs> God, what the hell? I can't believe that, man. That's probably got to keep that landing from succeeding, because there's only one Harper's Ferry and one Wasp left. It's supposed to be, like, a lot. I still got those... Okay, that's kind of loud. Still got those sea stallions going. Is that the OHP Seahawk? Yeah, they're all kind of uh, coming up to this position. I think I'd do best to keep my distance from that right now. And there you go, the f 18 scramble into the thing again. And the f 14 scramble into the sub. I still don't get why they do that. <laughs> they have nothing to do with a sub. The P3 even scrambling up there? It kind of looks like he is. These guys are crazy, man. Well, I guess we can do a fresh sweep. I still don't even see him on the broadband. I feel like I should. Let's do a fresh sweep here and see if anyone else has come up on the toad. I might have lost that one guy off to the south. It looks like I have. Yeah. Lost that. I think it was this parry just got outside like a formal detection range on the toad or something there. Ugh. Huh. Yeah, we can try and get a better solution on this guy. Man, these things are hauling ass. Hauling unnecessary ass, if you ask me. 
right. Yeah, he's still chilling on 105. 109 now a little bit. So he's heading some way. Some way or another. Oh, no, no, no. I want you to stay constant at 26. That would explain why that wasn't really working out there. Okay, that's really far. He's not, you know, he's not 28 nautical miles away right now. He's probably closer in. So let's zoom in and then get closer in to try and make some better solutions here. Rough solution, 13 nautical miles. It's possible. Not too terribly sure on that. I guess I could try and get a UUV out here. I did load them up. Don't really want to get that TIW, but if he's at that speed, I don't think he'll be able to hear it. Confidence low, assumed hostile. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Could do a course change. We could head south, try and get a better, better data on the course change there with that. I might increase to five knots on that turn just to expedite that. He's not hearing anything at 26 knots there. So let's go get ahead and uh, go ahead up to five knots here, and I'm going to turn to the south. We're going to lose that floating wire for a little bit here. As I go to five knots, it's not going to be able to stay to the surface. I don't need the history turned on that. That's fine. Yeah, they're... they're, they're, they're uh oh Why is it making the missile noise? I don't know. They're, uh... They're, 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 they're decently close, assuming this is a correct solution. I kind of just really guessed. But, uh, I feel like, mm, I feel like if he's going 26 knots at that range, I'd be able to see him on the broadband there. Oh, I guess that is him right there, maybe. That faint little line right there. Alright, let's just speed up time to expedite this turn here. No sense in dilly-dallying here. Yeah, that floating wire is pretty much horizontal, just about. <laughs> yeah, so we lost all the link track on them until this turn is finished here. Taking a little chunk of time to do. No one's dropped a torpedo yet, no one's pulled a trigger yet. I guess they're trying to finalize that solution. And we are steadied on course. So come back down to two knots here. Make turns for two knots. Maneuvering on. Get that floating wire back up to the surface. I think three knots might even be too fast to get the floating wire up on the surface there. So let's slow it down. Oh, I thought I was going to lose him in the baffles. I was like, there's no way I'm losing him in the baffles. This is fine. All right, so... Well, we did lose him in the baffles in the turn. But yeah, it looks like I'm, I was seeing a faint trend line on him there. And it looks like the trend line is back. He may have turned back in the other direction. Ooh, third line. Victor 3, you call it. Betting 118. Very well. Classify that as a potential Victor 3. Medium confidence. I don't think there's another sub in the game that has a 50, 125, 360. Well, there's a few other subs that have it. But only two are Russian, so that's good enough for a medium a confidence for me. I wouldn't expect any of these other subs to be around here because they're all non-nuclear and not Russian. Well, except for this SIA. That's Chinese and that's nuclear, but I wouldn't expect that to be up here. Don't even know if those existed yet. I think they did. But I'm going with the medium confidence there on the Victor. It's probably not a Delta IV. I don't think they'd have an SSBN running off around here. Oh, hello, there's a Kilo. Hmm. wonder where those TLWs came from then. Looks like they're about to get that gas. So that's good. And yeah, we're getting a decent trend line on him, but our toad is not straightened out yet. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that. What is that right there? That looks like something. Ah, it's nothing. Right, let's just keep speeding up some time until this toad is fully straightened out here. Start getting some good data on this guy. He's still, he's still chugging along at 26 knots. He's making a whole hell of a lot of noise. I guess we can try and refine our solution a little bit. These lines are pretty close together. It seems to be running almost kind of parallel to me. Almost directly away from me or something. Directly away or directly towards. Can't really tell which. I'll have to wait till we get some more data on this trend line here. But I'm actually going to have to stop it here. So thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, it's the last, last mission of Red Storm Rising ever. So, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and maybe we'll start getting ready to shoot some weapons here. So, see you then. Thanks for watching.